All right, response video to Tommy from the Bronx on the subject of the virtual reality again. And like, I know it's redundant, but these are important questions. This is about the sustainability of the human race. And if it isn't going to be virtual reality, it has to be something else. And so you have to, and the challenge is, is to come up with something else that works better than the virtual reality, it, creating a fail-safe and enriched environment for consciousness. So that's really the challenge here. And uh, so let's just play some clips as Tommy does run on a little bit. Yo, what's up everybody out there? I was watching a video um, from Gary and Mendham um, about virtual reality. I asked them to send me some links so I could learn more about it before I came up with a video. I didn't get those links. Maybe he didn't check his email or whatever. And um, I was thinking to myself. Yeah, well, Tommy, whatever. You know, I've made the videos. I don't. I'm, I don't have links. I, I'm not reading web pages and then coming up with an idea. Okay, it's it's come out of my brain. It's not out of somebody else's brain. Um, he always says nature sucks, and it's so, it's so cruel and vicious and stuff like that. So he wants to go into a virtual reality little pod or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I really wish you'd cut off with the he stuff, okay? Because like I said, that doesn't matter to me, all right? I don't care if I get to virtual reality. It's irrelevant. Like I said, if somebody wants me to sign a piece of paper saying, I will not go into virtual reality, you can cut my head off the day before it's built, fine, okay? I'll agree to that. It's not about me. It's about... It's about humanity and my perception, my understanding, as I do the logical equation that virtual reality is not only is not only the promised land, okay? I know people find that irritating that I would even go there because they're going to ridicule it as some sort of religious heaven. But the fact of the matter is, it is perfection. Virtual reality is perfection. It is conscious, it's the perfect environment for consciousness. All right, this consciousness is no longer limited by the physical world. The, the physical, the laws of physics no longer apply. It's, it's essentially, it's not, it's a time machine. It's, it's a, 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 you know, a cosmic um, space cruiser. It's anything. It's all the things we can't have in reality. And um, plus reality. I mean, it has everything reality has and more plus it has this little super guarantee of creating a fail-safe environment for humanity. We're not going to be able to blow ourselves up in virtual reality. And that's the real magic of it as a solution. And we've taken out, of course, the elimination of all the major and substantial suffering is also another huge bonus. And I'm thinking to myself, is it that he wants people to get into these virtual pods, to be controlling and godlike, and you know, I only want 500 horses on this planet. I only, I want no. Yeah, I don't know why you get into the horses thing. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We don't look. Nature sucks. Okay, it's a shitty environment for conscious entities. Okay, they're just eating each other. It's pretty dismal for most animals. It's just a struggle to survive. Most of the kids die. You know, horrors, just horrors faced, half eaten. You know, it's nasty business out there. All right, so fuck nature. Fuck that whole bullshit. Um, you know, and it's, you know, the, the whole pod scenario, it doesn't, it did, whether it's pods or whether, you know, we're plugged into a grid or whether we're brains in a beaker, it doesn't really matter. It's a vessel holding consciousness, and that's all it is. We're just a body, and the body becomes irrelevant. The consciousness becomes the focus of the system, all right? But, you know, whatever. You want to call it pods, go ahead, but it's just bullshit. No hurricanes, no tornadoes, no... And no, nothing that can be vicious. Everything pleasant and happy. Well, whatever. You can choose any game you want to play. So if, I mean, you want to live out a life that's a little more challenging, you'd have a right to do that. You'd, no, no one's going to stop you. You want to live the challenging life game? Go ahead. You could live exactly the same life you're living right now, and all you can change is your father doesn't die. Uh, you know, there's, you know, all the little inconveniences you know the leaky roof doesn't happen uh you know <laughs> your brain aneurysm doesn't happen i mean all the bullshit can be eliminated out of your life all the really harsh crap can be taken out 
uh, you know, we can you can spend less time having to do the tedious bullshit stuff because that can be taken out. You don't got to mow the grass or do this or do that. You can you can make life a lot lower maintenance, all right, and 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 take out the best of it. No more job to go to, okay, unless you choose to have a job. Um, you know, lots of good stuff. Um, so whatever. I mean, or you can take it a lot further than that, and you can you can be the king of England, or you could be. Uh, you know, you could be, what was the guy's name, Michael Corleone, you know, and you could be deciding what brother you're going to kill and how you're going to play the game and, you know, whatever, you know, but you're going to be living that life, all right? You're not going to be saying, I'm playing a game, I'm in, I'm in a game environment. No, it's just like in your dream state where reality is suspended. It's the same damn thing. You're not going to know you're in virtual reality when you're in virtual reality. You're going to be living the fucking life. And you can make it, it's, they're all risks are going to seem like real risks, except the game is engineered so the risk really isn't there. Okay, so you're going to win. And that's, that's the magic of it. You still think you can lose, but you always win. Or, you know, as often as you want to. You can make it 90% or 85%, but it, whatever. It's all fail safe. There's no catastrophe. If you get hit by a train, you're not going to be a bloody mess, you know, writhing in pain. Okay, it's, it's you know, that's the beauty of it. Um, I mean, I look at that as like something that would be like exciting for like a couple hours, like a video game. Um, yeah, well, like I said, that's just you're not using your imagination. You're just not getting the idea. It's not like a two hour video game. Um, and even if it was, like I said, if you were really in the game, if you were really in the game and, you know, and if the, the hooker was really giving you a blow job, I think you'd be interested for longer than two hours. Um, and it goes beyond that. Like I say, you can take any movie you've ever seen, any script you've written, and you could really live it. All right? And you wouldn't, like I said, the script would be written, but you wouldn't know. You would be in the game. You would be whoever you want to be. And you'd be living that real life. Don't get me wrong. I would love to have that. As far as living in it, I don't know. Um, I think you... you, you <laughs> I know the imagination goes way out there, and you could do tons of things with his ideas. But it's gonna. Be, I'm sorry. Um, you cannot reprogram your brain to have these fictional characters. Well, like I said, they're not fictional when you're in virtual reality. You don't know they're fictional. Okay, so that's you. You have to understand the concept. It's not a video game. It's a game you actually fall into. It's like Alice in Wonder. You go into the Wonderland. Okay, you don't sit above it and watch it happening. You're in it. Whether it be having sex with them or being friends with them or driving in a car and waving hi to the to the person that's on this virtual reality and you know they're waving back. Yeah, well, you're not even getting that part. I mean, yeah, you can choose to play with multiplayer and there'd be other virtual reality people you'd, that would be real people you're interacting with who are playing real characters of their own and living out their fantasies. Or you can do single player. It's all, you know, it depends on what you're interested in, what what how, what how intrigues you. Um, I I'm personally would be more interested in rich environments. I'm, I'm more interested in, in that kind of lushness than I am interested in, in a bunch of crowding, you know, people don't interest me that much, okay, environments intrigue me, um, you know, puzzles and, and challenges intrigue me, all right, with rewards and the rest of that stuff, but I don't need this reality, I don't need a, a whole network of friends, I don't need parents, I don't need sons and daughters, I don't need any of that crap. But if you if that's what you're into, you could live that life. You could have, you know, you could, you could be a, an emperor somewhere, and you can have a whole harem, and you can have 10 million kids, and you can be like everybody loves you, and you know, you go down the street, and everybody waves it and says, "Hey, Tommy, hey, Tommy." You can still be called Tommy if you want to, no problem. I'm sorry. I mean, if you were born and put right into that, I could see how maybe. You know, if you're taught that and that's all you have to go by, maybe that would work. Yeah, well, actually, that's when it gets more complicated, okay? Because if you're born into virtual reality, you have to be, you have to be um, conditioned. And conditioning requires imposing some... You have to have some deprivation imposed on you through that conditioning to really want something. You know, to really build up a good, a good ball of desire, you, you have to live without. You have to have that deprivation. 
So that's the little tricky part is that the anybody born into virtual reality would have to be carefully conditioned um, and those values are going to be something that they're going to have to play the game with so it's going to be very conditional on those values. I mean we obviously have very eccentric conditioning and personalities because it wasn't done methodically and carefully. It was done through this sloppy environment we come out of so we come out very very different, very unique and often very perverse and so we're going to have very different kinds of capacities to experience what we are going to want to experience is going to be very unique to our individual personality I mean Jeffrey Dahmer and uh, Albert Einstein are going to have two different virtual worlds they want to live in